going on guys? We are back with another episode of Hunting History with uh, our good friend Dan today. How are you doing? He's one of our cinematographers and we're on a local explore. We're over in Aberston at uh, Britannia Works which used to be a hat factory. So we're going to have a little explore around, see what's left. It's been closed down for about 20 years so it's not going to be much. But you will see what we can see as always and uh, hopefully show you some cool salts. I just watched the step down. <laughs> Just as I say that, and I'm catching myself. It's a nice little fishing hole out there. Check that out. I'm gonna bring the rods down for that. A little fish out onto the canal. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're literally like right on the water, Dan. That's cool, man. Now we can look around. You've got your light. Here's the old hat storage. Or, um, is that storage? Go on, Dan. Either that or material storage, I don't know. See any hats yet? <laughs> yeah, some of it, yeah, B13 and things. I'm guessing this is where the material used to be kept, and then be like, oh, get us a roll of B13, mate, and come over and get a roll of B13. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff I'm on about to watch out, Dan. <laughs> See that? Oh, yes. Um, we don't need to go through here anyway. Actually, you can get to that side from there. Uh... Oh, that's right. Oh, someone's fucking caged one of them in now. We can get around, don't worry. Well, oh, watch your step in these places. Guys, for those of you that aren't from the area, this is Aberston Hat Factory, also known as Britannia Works. It was uh, opened in 1826, I believe it was and before the hat factory it was home to local businesses so a variety of different places would be in here and then as i say in 96 it was uh, transformed into the wilson stratford hat factory there was a variety of other hat factories in the area but this was the crown jewel this was what made the this is what made the town tick this is where the work came from and as you can see now it's in a bit of a sorry state of affairs everything smashed broken as you can expect, it closed down 1999, so it's nearly 18 years that this has been abandoned. And it takes its toll. Go through here. See if we can find Dan anywhere. 
and this place is quite rotten and decayed so if you do come here be careful of the floor so now we'll, uh, we'll continue on to the next floor see if there's much up there I think it's pretty much empty though um, from what we've found anyway empty and rotten Oh, look at all that pipe work. I'm surprised that hasn't been ripped out. He's gonna jump! Oh! Yeah, nice little locker. There it is, that's the old cylinder I wanted to see. It's cool that man. Bit of history there. Get the rest on it. Yeah, I was surprised it hasn't been scrapped yet. That's what a lot of people do with these buildings, that's why they get in such a bad state. Rip all the pipe and electric out. I'm pretty sure I just walked over a massive hole on this board, so don't come on this board. Um, because there's definitely a big hole under that. Alright, no, safe ground. Oh wow, this wasn't open last time I come here. We'll quickly, we'll come away from here because of the houses. You don't want someone. Like, yeah, well, people, people think we're coming to smash the place up, so they, they yeah, call, so call police straight away. Which, I mean, fair enough, because it does get a lot of damage, so. I bought a hatch factory, I always bought kind of small kind of, uh, just kind of people sewing things together. Yeah, this is one of the biggest ones in the country. Um, the, what uh, this place was famous for was slavery hats, so you know, it's called uh, the billy cock. Right. And it's a hat that slavers and um, working class people used to wear. But by law, slave owners had to provide hats for their slaves. So all them big contracts came here, so when uh, when business wasn't doing too well, it's contracts like that that kept it going for so long. Oh, also, the Crimea, Crimean War and uh, historic events like that, they used to do all the hats for our troops. So, again, things like that keep you in business in the, uh, in the later years. But it's surprising because most hat factories like this shut after World War II. This kept going until 1999. And um, I don't know anyone that wore felt hats in the 90s, so... Fair play to them, that, that, you know what I mean, they... So they managed to find some kind of business. Yeah. It's just a shame that, like, it gets left like this and... Yeah, I
fucking garden. And I can already feel the floor going next to me, so. Um, you see that line there? Uh, yeah. That's your joist. Stay on that. Wait until I get to that post before you come on or us both going through it. Yeah. And if I fall through, then I love you, Dad. Well, man, I can feel it going underneath me. It's so horrible. I hate this place. You good? Nimble movements, Dan. It's all about the nimble movements. You all right? Yeah. Just think, if I can do it, I'm fat. So, you know, you're, you're swimming, you're laughing. Yeah, you follow the light sort of path and just wait where that bar is. Um, it's horrible when you feel it squedged, don't you? Right, I can't quite remember. Right, this is the awkward bit. This has got a lot worse since last time I was here. Yeah, careful because now you literally are on nothing. Yeah, look at that, folks. Not good. You can do it, Dan. There you go. I saw it. It started to like wobble like that. I was like, oh god, no. I was like, I need to get my foot in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? But now you get the treat, which I think is awesome for an abandoned building. Look at this, guys. Shall I go down first? Oh, you're going, uh, you're going down there. Yeah, go oh, it. yeah, we're going down there. That'll pass us the light so I can. This um, again. Be careful, be careful about glass. Yeah. Glass off. Same sort of thing again. All these um, sort of things. We'll, we'll come through so you can have a little look. Yeah, in here the floor is bad as well. Now what I wanted to show you is that's where you were just standing and all that. Oh my god! How on earth did that support us? I have done no idea, man. They ain't going to do it too many more times, I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, we won't bother crossing I'm into the... the pipe to break up <laughs> Yeah, you would have had something to... A nice rusty pipe to hold on to. Okay. Yeah, man. You ready for slide number two? <laughs> slide number two! See you later. <laughs> that was a hard landing. <laughs> This, don't you reckon that looks like something out of Jurassic Park? <laughs> it does though, doesn't it? Look, <laughs> something's just smashed thing. through there. Yeah, it looks like some sort of dinosaur was kept there. I love these buildings because you could film some so cool fucking horror yeah, films. You also need to get a really Like on the top level where it's all sturdy with the computer. Yeah. Background. If you get a good look I haven't even seen this covered before. So mate, every time we come a place like this, there's always something new. Hey guys, so we made ourselves back into the main room we started in. We're going to go to the other side now. Uh, there's a little hat moulding place that I want to try and find that my mates uh, showed me. So we'll try and show you that and um, see what else we can find. Crazy building there. 
Yacht Torch, I think. Uh, I think we're going to need that. What's this place? Non conformance area. I reckon that's for the bad workers. They used to like <laughs> shackle them up. Then you got men, men, <laughs> just lay them on. <laughs> they did used to build, um, make hats for slaves. Maybe they had slaves themselves. Mm -hmm. Very cool from these like that, though. What's this animal? Borax, Ash, Shellac. Some of this stuff looks really old. Train tickets not that old. That's your hat moulding spot. Still haven't found any hats. No idea what this is. Could have been like um, something gas or something. It, it does look like some sort of pump, don't it? Yeah. And now it's got gas pipes to it. So. But saying all this, it's probably something from the kitchen. <laughs> I just realised that yeah, there's someone's camp chair. The downfall of this place really began after World War II, but especially by 1917, bolt hat sales were an all-time low. The two other companies in the area, I can't remember the name, but I will put them in the description, they were actually bought out by Wilson and Stratford, who owned this building. And by 1980, it was just Wilson and Stratford. They had the other two companies, and obviously they were the first to close down. By 1999, this place closed its doors as well. Oh, we are half the new store. Oh, yeah, so. By the way, they didn't just make um, slavers' hats here, they also made a lot of a variety of other Aveston luxuries in the hat department. But they are most commonly known for the Billy Cock, that's why I keep mentioning it. Interesting name for a hat, don't you reckon, Dan? The Billy Cock. <laughs> I'll have one. I'll have one Billy Cock, please. Lovely old chimney, that. Man. Imagine the old pictures of um, slaves back in the day. The little grey felt um, sort of material hat. Th that kind of style. And obviously, you know, if you're talking 1800s, they would have made like top hats and... Um, well, Aberston's always been quite a working class town, so anything popular working class, you know, what we like.
Once a pinnacle of hat production in the Midlands. Sad to see it looking like this. Unfortunately, I think the next stage for this is uh, the developers are just waiting for it to get the okay to knock it down. It was actually meant to be knocked down in 2008. I just remembered this place. It's a build houses or flats. I'm not too sure. It's, it, they keep bringing it up, but it never seems to get done. Well, it can't be, it, it won't be here for much longer. No. Half of it's just wrecking ruin. <laughs> Well people, that's pretty much everything from Aberston Hat Factory. I did want to show you the roof, but it's the middle of the day, lots of houses around, so someone will probably see me, call the police. It's um, quite a residential area, so I don't want to spook anyone. But you've pretty much seen everything here now. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, all that good stuff. Uh, Dan, thank you for coming out.